Hello YouTube and welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2. This is gonna be a game of Protoss versus Zerg. Let's begin on with the cast. It's gonna be Offset versus Larry, another Grandmaster game which I picked up from one of the replay websites. So let's see how this one progresses out. We've got ourselves Offset, who is the top right hand side red Zerg here. And he's got himself a cool little icon right there. His opponent is gonna be Larry. Larry is a Protoss player here, spawning as the blue. So let's see how this game plays out. As per usual, this is a Grandmaster game, not one of the tournament ones. And uh, I will be starting to do these in between tournaments when I don't actually have tournaments to cast. So right now there's the WCS Katowice um, uh, being being played right now. So once the replay pack for that comes out, I will probably do everything from like the round of 16 and upwards. Something like that, because that is a pretty decent place to start. For a tournament. So let's see how this one plays out. We've got ourselves Ruins of Ceres, which is a huge map, and unfortunately this uh, overlord actually gone scouting in the wrong direction. Did you did you see he actually made a heart with that? That is so cool. Offset, you are awesome. Thank you for doing that. That was uh pretty not amazing, but something you don't really see people doing just for the fun of it. So let's see, we've got ourselves Wings of Liberty music, by the way, in case you're wondering what this is. I believe this is the Terran tune starting off right now, which is not really suitable for this game, but I think that's quite okay. Looks like this probe is indeed gone scouting in the correct direction, so this poor overlord has been flying here for absolutely no reason. Gonna see that there's nothing going on here and is gonna want to be sent all the way up in the other direction. Looks like this base is getting scouted out, of course. Gonna see exactly the timing of that. And he's gonna notice that, the, that this hatchery went down before a spawning pool. Which, of course, is quite standard. I mean, you might even sometimes see um, double expansions coming out for, for Zerg. Simply because Protoss is not a super aggressive race. Having rushes with, with Protoss is very difficult. Because if you start off with, for example, a... Uh, a gateway then your economy is absolutely crippled and zealots are absolutely terrible up until the point that they get legs by legs i mean leg upgrades <laughs> so let's see we've got ourselves a second gas coming down this of course is after the nexus so this could potentially be uh, a very late robo facility i wouldn't i mean it could be a stargate still despite the fact that he's already expanded but if he doesn't go for it then it might just be a robo quite early on but let's see, what is he building? Looks like... Nope, it is a Stargate indeed. So it seems like, to be honest, Stargate has been quite the dominant build for pretty much every Protoss. They just seem to like it more than getting an early robotics facility. I don't know what the reason for it is, but it is, it is what it is. And unfortunately, uh, not seeing a whole lot of robot play up until the uh, mid to late game for Protoss. So we got ourselves four Zerglings on the way here. These are probably just scouting Zergling, but then again, we do have 12 more on the way uh, being produced right now, so could potentially see a lot of aggression going down here. And this is a terrible wall in because this Zealot doesn't really have any power over these Zerglings running around the side here. And he would probably be better off just using it to, uh, to chase these Zerglings around the place. Because even if they surround it and kill it, then they're probably going to lose about three of them before killing it off. And this one probe, first blood. Oh, there we go. At this point, we got ourselves two Zerglings, two probes. Let's see the Zealot getting surrounded. There is an overcharge going down from the Mothership Core. And these Zerglings, these Zerglings, they might run into the main base. There's only three of them though, so not a huge lot. But look at this flood of Zerglings coming in here right now. Offset is looking to go all in, I believe, with all of these Zerglings. He's only got five workers on this expansion here. And he is just going straight in there. He's not worried about anything. He's managed to destroy the blockade, which was just one pylon being produced. And so many workers being dropped right now. There is just continuous streams of them. Pylon going down here. I think this is going to be it. GG has been called here and Larry gets defeated with Offset winning the game in just four minutes. Good game, well played. So that is pretty much that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys in game. Uh, sorry, it's not another game. I mean, it's it's the best of one since it's just a ladder game. And that's pretty much it. So let me know as well. What do you think about this whole one scene cast? 
where I'm essentially just having this switch in OBS. And let me know, of course, what the quality is like. If you think the quality has suffered because of the switch to OBS, as opposed to recording with Bandicam, which I usually do, let me know, of course, I will switch back because I do, of course, take feedback quite seriously from you guys. The only difference, of course, is that Recording a video like this takes about as long as it takes you to watch it. Whereas if I record it with Bandicam, it, you know, I also have to um, edit the video and then render the video and then upload it. So it, it essentially doubles the time it takes to actually produce it. Now the reason I'm babbling on here, of course, is to extend the video to not make it look like a super rushed game at the very beginning before somebody watches it. So that's pretty much it. I'll end it here. Good luck, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck.